Uh, pattern recognition, we have to train our, our brain to recognize patterns, but as soon as we uh, acquire the knowledge, we will, we will be able to, uh, to uh, differentiate lesions in one second. Now the point is this, how many patterns should we learn? Okay? How many possibilities we have? Of course we have a lot of possibilities. We have many phases of melanoma. We have many phases of melanocytic neva. We have many phases of seborrheic keratosis and so on and so on. Okay? But then uh, at, at the bottom line, you know, maybe it's better to start simple. Otherwise we will, we will get depressed you know, you know, in some way. So let's say we need to, to learn at least three patterns. Okay? And the three patterns are this, the good, the ugly, and the bad. Okay? So the point is the good is whatever it's benign. Okay? The great majority of lesions we see every day, they are completely benign. They are clear-cut morphologically benign. So we, we, there is a, a good uh, um, a connection between what we see, the morphology, and what is the, uh, let's say, uh, the, uh, the biology of the lesion, benign, okay? So, morpho good morphology, good soul. And so, it's, it's the white spectrum of the, uh, the white side of the spectrum. On the other side, the bad, the bad guy, you know? Melanoma, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, they, these are the bad guys we want to recognize. And many of them are clear cut, you know? They are black, they are morphologically uh, uh, bad, they are uh, biologically bad. Okay, so everything is, is, is fine. The problem is that we have a lot of gray in the middle. Okay, so the ugly. What is the ugly? The ugly is something resembling bad, but it's not bad. It's just ugly, you know. So ugly in morphology, but good in uh, biology. Okay, so this is the great majority of the gray zone lesions, okay?